Welcome to another edition of Virtual Pizer. The, broadca the broadcast communication supplement. You can't find me. The supplement to the broadcast communication. What are you doing? I'm Waldo. You can't find me. Um, no, you're the cartoon version of me. You're like my avatar. I'm Waldo. Like in Where's Waldo? I got cat lax -like bean reflexes. I am the human stealth. Hu human stealth? You're not even human. Anyway, that's not the Waldo I'm talking about. Oh. My bad. Yeah. Awkward. Today on Virtual Pizer, we'll be talking about Waldo. And Waldo is actually an acronym, and it stands for Wide, Angled, Low, Linking, Depth, and Opposite. The Waldo technique is used to vary your shot compositions so that you could keep your video interesting and make edits without the use of the infamous jump cut, which recently, due to, I don't know, sheer laziness, has become so popular today. But that's a whole other episode, so let's just focus on Waldo. When shooting video for B-roll or montages, you need to keep your viewer interested. The best way to do that is to vary up your shot compositions. Waldo is kind of a guide to keep you on track so that you can vary up your shots. Remembering Waldo will allow you to get enough coverage to keep your video interesting and make your editing task much easier. So let's break it down into each shot. First, the W, which stands for wide. This shot is usually an extreme wide shot. And since most scenes should start off with some kind of establishing shot, this is a great place to start. You could get a nice shot of a building or another landmark to establish where your scene actually takes place. This can be a static shot, or you could add some foreground to make it interesting, or do some kind of tracking shot. Just be creative and do multiple versions of your shot so that you have choices when it comes time to edit. Next is A for angled. Shooting things at an angle can instantly add depth to your shot. It makes the two-dimensional picture seem more 3D and pulls the viewer in to your scene. These angles can be used to create leading lines, which you may remember from a previous lesson. The first L in Waldo stands for low, so get the camera down low. This is a great perspective that it could actually work for you in many ways. It can be used to exaggerate the size of objects or to give you a child's view of things, or if you want to make a subject seem more powerful. And you know what, it just looks cool. The next L stands for linking, and you could accomplish this in several ways. You may want to link two shots together with a pan shot or a tracking shot, but you could also achieve this by shifting or racking your focus from one subject to another. A linking shot is really kind of two shots that are linked together. The D in Waldo stands for depth. Depth is essential for getting that cinematic look. You could achieve more depth by how you place your objects along the z-axis in your shot, by using your depth of field or by using foreground framing and putting some objects in the foreground. The key here is to push the techniques that you've learned about in previous lessons to create depth in your shot. The final shot in the Waldo sequence is opposite, and this can mean almost anything. It can simply be the opposite of one or many of your shots that you previously took, or it could just mean taking a reverse angle. Sometimes this can be shot from the opposite perspective, like from the subject's viewpoint. OJ, purple stuff. Ooh, Sunny D. Sunny D. Why does everybody hate on the purple stuff? Start using the Waldo method right away and I guarantee your film and video projects will benefit. If you need a cheat sheet, there is a link below where you can download a JPEG or PDF. Download it, save it to your smartphone, and you'll have it as a guide whenever you're on a shoot. That's it for this edition of Virtual Pizer. We'll see you next time.